welcome to the jungle i'm your tour guide the crypto gorilla in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to sell your digital art on the nft marketplace OpenSea. So here we are on OpenSea's website and i'm going to go ahead and click create and the first thing you're going to have to do is create or link a wallet if you already have a wallet with OpenSea, feel free to skip ahead using the timestamps if not you can either use any of the wallets that they mention here or you can use metamask so let's go ahead and click get metamask then on the browser plugin page just click add to whatever browser it is that you're using me it's add to firefox then you're going to get this pop-up you just click add you're going to get this white page all you need to do is hover your extensions click on the metamask extension and then you're going to land on the welcome to metamask page click get started now if you already have a metamask wallet feel free to import it into this browser but we're going to go ahead and set one up so we click create wallet i click i agree you're going to have to enter a password click i have read the terms and agreements now here's a little video i'm just going to go ahead and skip it feel free to watch it finally you could create your seed phrase this is to recover your wallet in case something goes wrong with the browser or you lose it you click here and it reveals the 12 words you have to write them down click next and then you're just going to have to put the words in the correct order although since i already have a wallet i'm just going to do remind me later and there you go now you have your metamask wallet but if you want to fund your account you just copy the account address you have here and then depending on the exchange you use you're going to want to withdraw ethereum and send ethereum to this account if you want to add another token just click add token here and then you could put anything like bnb or whatever coin you want so back on OpenSea, if we go to the profile page you're going to notice it's sign into your wallet if it still says create just hit f5 or try going to home page and then back to profile but since it recognizes that we now have the plugin for metamask it's going to say sign in so you just click sign in you're going to do next connect it's going to connect your wallet and voila you now have an OpenSea account connected to your metamask wallet and before we continue if you aren't already subscribed to my channel would you kindly hit that subscribe button it really helps the channel grow also i'll be giving away 25 ada tokens when my channel reaches 1000 subscribers so stay until the end of the video or check the description down below in order to find out how to qualify so here we are in OpenSea. our wallet is now connected and we're going to go ahead and click either up here or right here we're going to click create and on this page we're going to be able to create our very first nft so you can either click right there i'm just going to drag and drop here we go this is my cat her name is mac poulet which is mick chicken in french next i'm going to give it a name you could then add a link to a website let's say you want to build a community if you're doing a project of multiple nfts a lot of them do the classic 10,000 nft drop this is where you're going to put that link and on the website you can include things like information about the team or the project the roadmap a link to etherscan or anything else you can think of that would incentivize people to purchase your nft or join your community next we can give it a description and then here you can select from a collection let's say you are creating an nft project that has 10,000 different nfts if you're really trying to create a community you can add things like properties levels statistics and if we pick a project at random from the marketplace let's take this one and then we click grade eight you can see that there are 10,000 nfts and they're all going to have different properties if we go back to that great ape page and we click properties here you're going to see there's all different statistics and this is what's going to determine the rarity of this particular nft in comparison to the other 9999 in the project so since i'm not going to be doing a big project it's just one nft i'm going to be skipping this step you can also include unlockable content so if somebody buys your nft you can link them to behind the scenes footage you could give them a google docs link that has all the original artwork you use to create your nft or anything you can think of and finally you can set it as explicit or sensitive content so if there's nudity or something that's not safe for work it's better to mark it as explicit that way if somebody's browsing the marketplace they're not going to have a naked picture while they're at their office so next the supply how many copies of the image can be minted for now on OpenSea, you could only have one but in the future you'll be able to put as many as you want and finally you can select the blockchain you want to use we're just going to go ahead with ethereum and then down here i'm going to click create and voila my nft has been created i can go ahead and share it on different social media and obviously first things first we're going to favorite it if you scroll down you see i have no properties there's not many details i can always go back and edit it if i wanted to add more information but i'm fine with it as is my cat is perfect just the way she is so let's go ahead and click sell now on the sell page you have multiple options you could either set a price you could make it an auction so people can bid on what they think it's worth or you can create a bundle where you bundle multiple NFTs together. So first, let's try setting a price. I am just gonna put one ETH. 
And then here you can put include an ending price. So if it's not selling, you could have the price decrease over time until the expiration date is hit. You can also schedule your auction for a future date. So it's only gonna start in three days from now, in one week from now, or a specific date. And finally, you can make it a private auction. So if you only wanted to offer this deal to one specific person, they would send you an address to their wallet. You would input it here and then they will be able to purchase this NFT, but it's not going to appear in the marketplace. And other people aren't going to be able to sign for that transaction because their MetaMask wallet is not going to be linked to the correct account. And finally here, you can see that listing is free, but OpenSea does take a 2.5% commission off of your sale. So just keep that in mind when you're creating your price. Let's go ahead and do post your listing. So the first time you sell, you are going to have to pay fees, but unlike other marketplaces where you have to pay every single time you mint an NFT, here the minting costs are passed on to the buyer so you as the seller you only have to pay this once and then you're not going to have to pay multiple times after that so for the time being since we're also going to do auction let's just reject this transaction and then i'm going to go ahead and click highest bid here i'm going to do 0 0.1 so the minimum bid that people are going to have to make in order to participate in this auction is going to be 0 0.1. Next, we have a reserve price. So what this is, is if my auction ends here, the expiration date is five days. I could put it to whatever date I want. Let's put one month. So after one month of bidding, if people have not bid a minimum of one ETH, the auction is going to end and nobody is going to receive my NFT. However, since my minimum bid is 0 0.1 ETH, if somebody bids that or anything under the reserve price, I'm still going to have the option of manually accepting their bid. So the reserve price is really to save you from underselling it before the auction has ended. And the minimum amount we have to put is 1 ETH. If I try to put 0 0.5 ETH, you're going to see here it's not going to work. If I try to put less than my bidding price, it's also not going to work. And you can't just leave it blank. You have to put a minimum of one ETH. So let's go ahead and click post your listing. And it's going to work the same way that the set price worked. So you can see currently in order to do this, I have to pay a one-time fee of $131 USD. Now I know that this might seem high, but these fees fluctuate very quickly. I was trying to do it before where it was above 0.09 ETH. So if I wanted to do this three hours ago, it was going to be something like $325. As you can see, it's already gone up something like $30. It's now at $161 from just moments ago where it was at 0.04 ETH. Now it's at 0.05 ETH. So I'm going to wait for this fee to go back down before for making this transaction go through. Another thing you could do is change the transaction speed and it looks like it's only changing by $1. Wait for it to reload. But if you look at the maximum, the cap that you're allowing with these fees, that's gonna change by a lot. So if I do low, the maximum is 163. Now it's changing. Medium is 190 and fast is gonna be $218. So that's a pretty big gap from low to fast. And now you can see it's back down to 126. This is pretty low. The lowest I've seen it go today was near $115. I'm gonna go ahead and click confirm. Now this can take a very long time. It could take something like four hours since I chose low. There you go, the transaction went through and here a fee associated with this is gonna be $12.66. I'm gonna click confirm. Once again, we are waiting for this to go through. And there you go, it went through. So now I just need to sign this transaction and my item has now been listed for sale. I can go ahead and view the item. So here you can see the minimum bid as I set is 0.1 Ethereum. I can go ahead and edit it, cancel the listing or lower the price. And if I wanted to go ahead and cancel the listing, here I would click cancel, but I would have to pay gas fees in order to perform this transaction. So I'm gonna reject it. The same thing goes if I wanna lower the price. Here I would enter a lower price than my current price. I would click set new price, but then I'm gonna to have to sign the transaction followed by accepting or rejecting gas fees. And if we go on OpenSea's help center, you can see that there are recurring fees for things like accepting an offer, transferring, buying an NFT, canceling a listing, canceling a bid that you have placed on someone else's NFT, converting your ETH to wrapped ETH or vice versa, freezing your metadata, and if you want to connect and withdraw ETH from Polygon. So while you still have to pay gas fees to perform all of these different transactions, you're still gonna be saving overall using OpenSea because the minting fees to create your NFTs are passed on to the buyer. Unlike a marketplace like Foundation, where you're gonna to have to pay hundreds of dollars in order to create individual NFT art. Now, I don't expect anyone to buy this NFT, so I'm just gonna leave it as is. So now if I go to my profile and I click my collections, you could see my brand new collection with my cat is there. 
Here's the beautiful NFT. I can click it. I'll be right back on the sell page. So as I mentioned, there are advantages to using OpenSea. For example, let's say I wanted to sell this unedited picture of my beautiful cat. I would click sell. All I have to do is enter a price, post listing. And now you'll see that the first two steps have been skipped. And I'm not going to have to pay anything in order to initialize this transaction. I can just click sign. And there you go. My item is up for sale at no additional cost to me. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you want to win 25 ADA tokens, I'll be giving them away when I reach 1000 subscribers. And you have to do four things to enter the competition. You have to subscribe to my channel. You have to comment your Twitter handle in the comment section down below. You have to follow me on Twitter. And finally, you have to retweet my pinned tweet. And again, you have to do all four things in order to qualify. If you want to buy crypto in Canada, be sure to use my referral links in the description down below and you will get free money when you make your first trade. If you are already subscribed to my channel, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification. Thank you for watching the Crypto Gorilla. Peace.